Hello, hello. So I got a computer running a Linux server. It's Ubuntu 18.04.1 server. And I mostly use it for running a Minecraft server. But I have a couple of one terabyte, one terabyte drives that I don't really use that much. So I thought I would test to have it as kind of a storage, a temporary storage. And I thought I would do sort of an array array on it. It's going to be a software RAID. So let's see, let's open terminal here and uh, let's see if I can connect to it, to the server, SSH. Not 01.13, password. Okay, that's the server connected to it. And, well, you can't really see. Well, it says Ubuntu, at least, <laughs> there at the top. Doesn't say anywhere it's a server, but trust me, it's a Linux server. I just updated it, so just clear everything here, and let's see if I'm going. My own guide works, and I put a link to the guide uh, in the video description. I made it myself; it's on my blog. So let's see if that actually works. So um, paste. I'm going to check the drive. So what drives you have, what drives I have on this machine. And here you can see it says loop zero, loop one and loop two, loop two. I don't know what that is. Kind of a new thing in uh, Ubuntu 1804 server. And in 1804, they skipped the um, swap partition. The swap is now a file instead on the main partition. So it says SDA, which is the first drive. And you can see it's quite a small one. It says 74.5 gig. And that's an old SSD I have from Intel. And then it has two partition, SDA1 and SDA2. So SDA1, I don't know what that is, just one meg size. And then SDA2 is the main drive. And then I got three one terabyte drives named SDB, STC, and SDD. And they don't have any partitions on them. On them. So I thought I would do a raid of this ones. So, and it's going to be a long command. And I'm going to explain this a little bit. Uh, it says sudo MD ADM, and that's sort of, sort of the software you're using. Create and verbose basically shows you what it is, I think. And it's going to be called the raid array is going to be called MD0. Level is the raid level. In this case, it's going to raid zero just for testing. Zero or one means uh, mirrored or raid one. Then you got five for raid five and so on. And then we have this, let's see if I can actually change this. RAID devices, that's how many drives are going to be in the RAID array. And I'm going to have three drives. And it's going to be... Let's see, I'll change this. This and SD, D. So, and, so yeah, number of devices, three, and then you specify which drives that are supposed to be in the RAID array. And you can see here on the left is SDB, SDC, SDD, are these three drives. And that's what I name here. And just press enter and 
password. Continue creating array. I guess yes. And RAID 0 are pretty quick to do. Uh, if it's RAID 5, uh, you can do, if you want to see the progress, you do sudo cat this. And here you can see it's active and the zero is active with three drives. Unused devices, none. Right. That's done. And now we are going to create a file system on the RAID array. Do that with this command. MD0, yeah, should be working. It's doing stuffs. And it's done. Nice. What's next? We should create a mount point to attach the new file system. It's a directory. Like that. And then we can mount the file, sy the file system. And paste. Or we can actually do this first, clear and paste. Now it's mounted. And check whether the new space is available. And do this command over here. And here you can see it says MD0 there at the bottom, dev MD0. 2.7 terabyte. It's basically three terabytes. That's done, nice. And then we are going to, to make sure that the array is reassembled automatically at boot. Um, we're going to configure some stuff, this command. Actually do clear first. So next one like this. And as I said, everything, every command is in the uh, video description or in the blog post. And they can see the metadata, UUID and stuff. And after this, you can update the initial RAM file system so that the array will be available during the early boot process. So, paste, sudo that. Let's see how this goes. Okay. It's done. Uh, let's see what's next. Add the new file system mount options to the FS tab for automatic mounting at boot. So let's do do clear here and this. Okay, okay. It was quick. And now we are supposed to be done. Your the raid ray should now be automatically assembled and mounted on each boot. So let's actually reboot. So let's see sudo uh, now. Like that. I heard a beep, 
so uh, it will take a little while for it to uh, start up. And I will actually copy this command. Uh, well, we're going to have sh. Let's have this ready. Right, uh, let's see, clear, and let's check the drives. Yeah, here you can see now a little bit, a little bit more things SDB, and you see that's a Linux RAID member, and it's on MD0, and it's mounted as mount MD0, perfect. So it actually works. So now you can actually just go to, let's see, cd mount md0 ls, nothing here. So sudo make dir uh, share. ls share perfect and then we can add that later to the share but i just wanted to see show you how to do this so let's see if i can actually do this samba at the same time so let's see get to the um, Samba, like that. So we are going to add, so let's see, we added Samba share. So and go to the bottom and it should be, let's see here. Add it to the bottom here. different one so let's change this uh, share and it's the path was mt mount md0 and share All right control o write it out and control x let's actually reboot again Because sure you can uh, restart the Samba service, but that for some reason doesn't really work for me, so I have to uh, reboot the computer. Let's see. I haven't heard a beep yet, kind of weird, but yeah, I'm just editing my stuff here. Okay, let's see, SSH. up so clear and I should it shouldn't really be do able to do anything more 
let's see if I can do it from files instead. Nullus. Uh, other locations. And we're going to add. Okay. SMB. And share. And let's see, it should be registered user, password. Remember forever, connect, perfect. So I can actually connect to it. So let's see how fast we can do a transfer. Let's not use that, let's actually just Use Nemo instead and get some, let's see, downloads. Uh, some big files. And it's Yoda 2.1. Copy and to share. See what the speed is. Seventy megs per second, huh? I should be getting about one hundred, but for some reason there's some kind of a limitation. So maximum speed is about seventy megs per second. Even though it's a RAID array, it might be actually the computer itself that is. But yeah, perfect. Now I got a uh, connected everything, created a RAID array. So yeah, took about 15 minutes or 17 minutes. So yeah, see you later.